Hi, what's up guys? It's Kiefer here. Noah. Noah here uh, with Talks to Try Us episode 7. We're missing Charles. It's kind of sad. I miss that guy. It's been a while since we've just sat down and talked like this. It's a little, uh, I don't it feels we, strange. I we've done that since like the video, like Marvel vs. DC or whatever that was. Which never even got an upload. Yeah. We're here today discussing some crapola. Uh, we got, I couldn't get the background working, but we do have a tri snowboard. So that's actually kind of cool. Yeah, it's available for sale on Amazon. It's about $750. And your life. And your house and, and your firstborn child. Yes. We're going to start by talking about some the of the projects. The of Steve Reminger. That's the one. That's the one. Just some recent projects that we've been working on and such. So here we go. So the Hunting of Steve Reminger. I literally don't know what to say about this thing. I mean, what, what can be said? It's <clears throat> just a bunch of inside jokes between our friend group. That's true. And then we thrust it out onto the internet and just like we <laughs> it onto our YouTube page. A lot of people enjoyed it though. You guys really seem to enjoy it. So pretty much, I don't Didn't know. We have one person that commented like, oh, this sucks. No. No, that was a different one. That was on Bane. That was oh, yeah, we actually hey, got a... Hey, uh, screw you, whoever you are. Yeah, that was... Positive that was, comments only. That was funny. You will be banned if you write negative comments. I dare you. I dare you to say that this review sucks. Click the dislike button and stay anonymous because I'm coming after you if I see your damn name. About the haunting of Steve Reminga, a lot of people found it really funny. Steve's like a friend of ours that's just... Can't take your damn thing seriously right. So we kind of keep him away from the films. We're like, hey, man, let's get you in one. And so we did this. Uh, found out that some of that blood was edible, so we used that to our um, advantage and put it in his mouth. <laughs> I'm going to heaven. I don't care about none of you. It's one of the most rewatchable mm. videos on our platform, that's for sure. That's true, and it's short. It's got a short runtime, so yeah. uh, all these things will be linked down below, by the way, or on screen if you want to check it out, so just letting you know. Um, but anyways, to move on from there, another, Chad. another crazy video, Better Call Chad. <laughs> oh God. Chad no, comes home from Chad college. Home from college. I, I want to give a little bit of backstory here. So we have our boy Christian here. He is now stationed out in Guam. Uh, he's in the military. So that's where he is. He wanted to make a video with us and we're like, okay, yeah, of course, before you leave, before you get shipped out. The two kids are fighting each other like, uh, and in their minds, it's this intense boxing match where in reality, it's just two kids like slapping each other like, you know, you made that, that seem easy. I was really struggling there to speak. Did you like that? Yes. I'm sure you did. But no, it was a uh, it was a fun video to make. Uh, honestly, I, I think it turned out a lot better than I thought it would. As an overall, <laughs> the editing was great in that one. I think. Yeah, I think honestly, we, it really <laughs> is. There's some cool transitions. Besides the ridiculous amount of vaping that was a part of it, I will be honest. That kind of pisses me off. Going back and looking at it, I'm like, this was so dumb. That's but so dumb. But it makes it was dumb. Made it right. funnier, I think personally. Yeah. And we had that really cool shot where. It's Joey's face, and then through the fog, we literally just had someone vaping in front of the camera, right. and then I emerged through said fog, and it actually looks like we edited something in. Right, it is actually, it's kind of cool, it's kind of cool. Yeah. Um, and, and I'll say this, you know, about these two films, uh, these two flicks. We, we, we made them in like an hour, right. and they are so much fun. Right. Like those we, are the films that we really never stress about, because... I don't want to say we don't care because that's not that's exactly. not the right word. We basically, do care. We, we have fun to make it look it. right. We are not restricted in any way to what we can do. Right. And it's just like a fun hobby to do. Honestly, I think it was Joey who had the one who had the idea. I believe mm -hmm. not the idea of the story, but just the idea <coughs> to make a film randomly. Right. We were all just hanging out instead of just chilling and watching Netflix or something like that. We were just like, hey, let's make a video. Yeah, and like, you know, the, the thing about that is, the thing that makes that a lot of fun is that like, you know, with stuff like Survivors and Bane and other projects mm. like that, there's so much preparation and time and planning that goes into it that like to get these films just out there and like they're enjoyable to watch. They're not at the same quality of level and they're not at the same depths. Like, you know, you have those other films literally have, they have layers to them. They have references and Easter eggs and underlying messages and like really scripts. complicated storylines, scripts even. Um, hours and hours of editing and filming. Trying to plan actors to get together. Right, where this sort of stuff is just like, hey, who can be here and who has an hour on their hands? Let's make this and then I edit it. And the editing definitely takes the most time because I'm like, oh yeah, I want to give this some sort of professional look to it at all. Yeah. Like, if any. So I'll just you know, it, it adds edit the crap it. out of it. Sound effects, the light balancing or whatnot. Oh, light balancing. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I 
don't, I don't edit. No, I'm just I'm messing with you. The next film that we want to talk about is our most recent one, and we have a lot to say about this. It's called It's, it's All in Your head. head. And I'm gonna let you take this because this is actually this is kind of funny. Just go. Basically, how It's All in Your Head started out is that we were going to enter a film competition last year, and we needed a 10-minute short film that was like PG and very tame. And that was just not my forte, especially not at the time. Mm -hmm. Usually our films are much darker, or if it is com comedic, it's very raunchy. So yeah, it's it like was, very dark. It was know. extremely difficult to create a film that all people could see. So I was writing the script, and it was a pile of shit. It was, it was so terrible. Bad. It was definitely the worst thing I think I've ever written. <clears throat> and yeah. so I was very ashamed to scrap the entire thing. But I still like the idea of the emotions being on screen as people. I liked that concept. So we kept it. And it was perfect for a 10 minute short film. It's yeah. a very, it's a cheap gag. Really quick, that, really quick. Obvious, you know, uh, reference and call, call back to uh, Inside Out. Inside Out, You yeah. know, it's heavily inspired by that, obviously. But very different. It's very different. It's very, yeah. We have different emotions. Mm -hmm. They have different colors. They act differently. But anyway, it is a four and a half minute short film. It's very it's short. Called. But it gets the story. It's very though, short. You know? We get to see the gimmick. And honestly, I had to write an entirely new script. And I did it like an hour after I came out of a wisdom tooth surgery. So that was fun. At least you had plenty of time on your hands. Oh, yeah. I, had, I was in <laughs> horrid pain. But right. I was like, I'm just going to do this and get it over with. But I actually really liked what the resulting product was it's a very cute little film it's like the perfect film to just like show you know like a family member be like hey look what we made you know it's like exactly nice and fun um now getting out actors together was a nightmare because we had we had one oh of our God, attraction true, yeah. the person who's supposed to play attraction i think changed three times within the last like three, three hours before we started filming and we had two hours in the blistering cold to do this there hasn't there hasn't been that um that bad of a like uh, scheduling change, like in character wise, um, like actor wise, since uh, I think Colin on Survivors had six different actors almost play him. Well, fuck me, right? <laughs> but anyways. so luckily, I'm very glad that the film was short because I don't think we could have kept our actors there for any longer than they were. Because no, it, it was, was a perfect timing. Freezing. And we I'm also, sorry. yeah, yeah, for sure. No, it was. It's kind of nuts, honestly, how how different it turned out um, from the original product from last year but i mean the the core idea is there and i think i think it stands on its own from being like okay so for example we had i can't help myself which a lot of people it came out recently not recently it came out a little bit after split that's what i meant to say um and people obviously knew that it was from split and in the description it literally says inspired by split same with this film it says inspired by inside out just to give credit where credit's due and the thing is though is that i do genuinely think that both those films stand on their own in the sense that this film in particular, it's kind of a plot twist. You don't really get what's going on. You're like, who are these people? Why do they keep disappearing? There's a lot of people that don't get it till it gets to the very end of the film when it says it's all in your head. They're like, oh, it's emotions. That's kind of cool. So it's like, it's a little bit of a plot twist. It's uh, it's yeah. pretty, it's very entertaining and fun. Um, and so about that, uh, tried entering into a film festival last year. And failed miserably. Failed miserably, that's right. So this year though, we entered Became a finalist, and now this coming Saturday, um, is there going to be a grand finalist? Like, is there a winner of this? Yeah, there's a winner. What's the prize? Uh, that I do not remember, which I very well should. Pretty much, our film not the first time, but what our film is going to be uh, in a Show in the theater in Celebration Cinema with a lot of the other films, and it's exciting to be able to see their films as well. Um, and this is going to sound so stupid, but if there's any sort of like, cause. I, I will never upload just a straight vlog to this channel, but like if there's any sort of filming I can do there, I'll do it and I'll put it in the next Talks to Try Us when we discuss how it went. Um, I mean, if you guys want vlogs, we could... We can that, do them. Our yeah, lives are just like not have, that exciting. Yeah, no, well, I highly so. doubt they would want vlogs, but if some for some reason we get like three comments where you guys really want vlogs, we will do it. Right, we can become the next Casey Neistat. I was thinking Logan Paul, but... God, God, I hate you so much. I mean, I already dressed <laughs> like him, so I might as well. That's fair. What? Oh, my God. I'm wow. Wearing, I mean, wearing all Hollister and then Nike shoes. It's going to be in the theater. That's really exciting. Um, got some of our friends going to it, some family members and such. So, like, that's going to be really fun. Uh, really excited for that to see if we win. We literally filmed this thing um, the day before. Yeah. It was supposed to be in. 
Um, As so we do most kind of, of our things on the cutting edge. And this is a little funny. This will lead into it. Uh, we got, so, okay, so I get really excited when we get comments because we're a small channel. So when we get comments, I'm like, I'm like, yes, I can't wait to see what this person said. The first time ever, we got a legit negative, just straight up negative comment. And it was on Vane. It's the only comment on Vane. And Vane, a lot of people have come up to me and been like, Vane was awesome. It's so good. A lot of people really like Vane. I love Vane. I personally think it's the best one we've done. Um, and hopefully we can, I think we can go improve, above and beyond we can that the next time. definitely improve on it right. the next time because there was a lot of things that we could, like, change. Mm -hmm. The overall story was great. It's just like some things with the pacing, camera work, and it's all, it's all stuff that we can work on for the next film. So I think the, the, what you're about to say is going to be great. Right. So the next film, uh, it's the final film in the Vane trilogy. Now, spoilers out, okay? It's been out for a while. If you haven't seen it yet, go click it down below right now. The spoiler of Vane, there's a lot of spoilers, but the main one being that it is connected to our very first film, Home, which isn't necessarily the best film. But it's still our original. It's the OG film. <laughs> Got to give it credit where credit's due. And it's really cool that ties into that while also kind of standing in on its own. And we are concluding this trilogy by making a film called Beyond. Uh, and that's going to be exploring some really cool things that we're really, really excited We're going to go hard about, with so. this film. We're going to try to do things we probably haven't done before on the channel. Right. That's going to be really cool. A lot of really cool sequences. I, I, I want to say like this. I, I want you to picture... Uh, the rain meets insidious meets stranger things meets Do you think do you have one more no that should be it that should, should not be it. combine that many movies right? I, th I think that's it insidious stranger things and the rain pretty much pretty much make it So now we're not going to talk a whole lot about that just because information is still low We're working on a whole lot of stuff and also we're gonna stick more till when we have a trailer come out for it Then we'll talk some more about it um, however, however, that leads me into another thing. This will be the concluding thing. This is going to be a pretty short talk to try us. Uh, our concluding thing that we're going to talk about here is just any future projects. But before we do that, we're going to talk about a little thing. I'm going to let you pretty much talk the whole time so here. So we, we haven't oh, talked about, about Kindle Ken. before? We've talked about it. We've hinted at it. In the last one, we were like, oh yeah, we're working on this little But now you got to talk about what happened. Film. Right. Now we got to talk about what happened. Oh boy. So... so this is interesting. Spoiler interesting alert, since Ken is probably going to change a ton when I rework the script. Yeah. What happened was we were probably about 25 minutes done with this really interesting, unique, like superhero slash like crime drama. It would have been very really cool. And it was One dear more to me because you're I gonna, You're going to be glad that I interrupted you. This is different because the people that have made films on this channel are me primarily. Then you have Charlie who's made two and then Noah two? hasn't. I loved you and home. Oh, it was cool. well. It was Matt Ayler's too, and then also me as well. So I guess, but Charlie primarily spearheaded it. You, this is your film. You wrote it. You directed. It. I directed some parts, but you've yeah. done it primarily. So this 100%. is my film. So, so this is why I kind of hit home. And we had a lot of complications with it. So hopefully, we're gonna be doing this film actually during the summer, so we can actually just not be terrible. Right. The time we spent on this, but we. Spent about, we had 25 minutes done of the 40 minute film. And unfortunately the main actress was no longer allowed to film with us. And so we, there was no way we could replace her. She was definitely the best person for that role. And I just simply did not have the patience or just the stamina to be like, okay, let's find a new actress. Let's do this all over again. So what we're going to do is I simply scrapped the entire thing. I'm like, okay. To turn this into a positive light, I'm going to work on the script because at some points, things did not work. So I'm going to use this time now that I have to really perfect the script and change a lot of it so that it's almost a completely different story, but while still keeping the things that made the last one great. And so it might it's going to take a while, and I can't guarantee that we're going to do it, but hopefully Ken will make a return at some point. Right, it'll be in the background. And, you know, that actually reminds me, I'd like to say that... Try Us is an interesting channel in the sense that we have a small amount of videos in terms of like the grand scheme of things. We have a small amount of videos over the span of two years. And also, you know, there'll be a lot of times where we'll be inactive for like, I think like three months is the longest we've gone. And it's one of those things where we're always at work though. We're always making new ideas and stuff, but we don't want the channel to be filled with just 
videos like this. Now, Talks to Trias is fun. I like, I love doing these, but we don't want it to just be a bunch of Talks to Trias episodes. It's like, we don't want it to be a bunch of Chad comes home from college. Right. Because so, those are fun to make, but we want high quality videos as well on here that take time because that is our passion. Yeah. Genuine, genuinely, this channel is a great film channel and I'm not just tuning our own horns. I genuinely think it is. It stands above and beyond what most small high school channels would do. So essentially guys, look, we have lives, we have school, jobs, family, um, pretty much everything under the roof and under the sun is more what I should say. Uh, and yeah, so this, as much as we love to do this, it's a hobby and it's, it can't take priority. And so we will always be working. We'll always be uploading. Just patience is key. Um, and so quality, now the quality stuff is coming in the future. It is. And it always will be. <laughs> so before we go, uh, one thing that I can confirm, this is not up for debate. This is a completely hundred percent thing that is going to be happening. It has for sure. to. <laughs> right. It has to for sure. Um, there will be a 15 minute, minute, minish, minish, uh, crime drama thing uh, coming around May, and then we have another film coming around May that this guy right here is going to explain while I go check the camera. Continue. So for we are in a TV broadcast lab where the final project, literally the <coughs> final exam, is a 15 minute short film. Yep. And uh, I wrote this, I, I was gonna say it is kind of like a crime drama. Basically it's a thriller, uh, it's a crime thriller. And it's called Anamnesis. It's gonna be starring one of our local. The crime drama was a different film. Oh, I know. I know. Okay. All right. Sweet. Go ahead. I'm just saying that this one is also kind of like a crime thriller yep. drama, and uh, it's called Anamnesis. We're gonna be putting a lot of work into it. We even we actually got an actor that we know very well who's very good, and he's actually coming down from college to help us film yeah. this. So bless his heart. Thank yep. you. We're gonna have a lot of new faces in this, so it's gonna be fun. It's gonna it's be gonna cool. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm and... gonna be behind the camera, helming it. Continue. Okay. And honestly, I don't want to give too much info away. And there's also during the summer mm. going to be potentially Ken and hopefully Filthy Sebastian the Lemonade Gang, which I know you guys will love because you guys seem to at least like Filthy Sebastian. So we're going right. to try and make that. And also Survivor Season 2, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, <go on. laughs> oh, shit! Oh. So my friends, no, I had to leave, but that's quite all right. I got a nice chair here to rest my feet on. So just to close out, Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, means a great deal. It's been a while since we've gotten in front of the camera to talk, so feels good to do that again. Um, everything that we talked about will be credited down below, uh, links and such, and then there should be an end screen up right now. So click anything that's around me. So yeah, have a good one guys. Peace. You could have made that more complicated. I really don't. Shut up. Keep walking. Alright guys, yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah.